an iPad. Yes, I can, and uh, God, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't publicly thank Ed and Lucy and all those um, who took it upon themselves to spend hours and hours on hot weekends and evenings and rain and sun, stop and shopping everywhere because they felt that their elected officials were wrong in the decision they made. And it's not a civics class, but back to our founding fathers, there's a reason why we have a democratic type of government, so when citizens believe their elected officials make a mistake, there's a process. It's a non-violent, open, democratic process. And Middletown allows that in its charter. And um, I don't like being a lightning rod. I don't um, shy away from controversy. I certainly uh, don't look for it. So um, this initiative kind of makes this process and me an example and quote, it's the first time ever I can get uh, referred to that. Um, so to that end, I, I think it really just goes to the, you know, our foundation of community policing here in Milton. I think that the relationships that my and this department has built over the last uh, three or four years since I've been here and the last uh, now 26 months as acting chief uh, just goes to the fact that you, know, you don't form relationships when there's an event. You form relationships when you want them. So when you need them, you're there. I didn't ask for this. I certainly am humbled uh, by the efforts that all of you have made and that you hear. I certainly will continue to do my job the best way I see fit. And I can say publicly, as Ed and I don't always agree, I don't always agree with the mayor. And there has been some, some, some accusations or some inferences by some members of the council that, quote, I'm his lapdog or that pretty much uh, he runs the department. I think he can tell you that that's not true. We have spirited debates behind closed doors, but he's my boss. At the end of the day, if it's not illegal, immoral, or unethical, it's my obligation to follow this rule, as I would any other mayor, as long as they're my boss. Uh, so to think that I am not an independent voice, I think, would go to, they don't know who I am. Um, so to your earlier question, I'm just, I'm, I'm flattered. I, I just, uh, I just want the job that I think I'm entitled to, that I've earned, that I've worked very hard for. That I'm qualified for. I have the education. I certainly have the, uh, the connection uh, with this community. They welcomed me four years ago. I wasn't born and raised here. Um, but I would ask any member of this community, unless they're Native American, nobody was born. Their families came from somewhere, which makes Middletown great. It's very eclectic. It's very metropolitan. What makes it great is because it's so welcoming and so diverse. That's what drew me to this department. Very diverse. And, and so to indicate that I'm not Middletown enough or not whatever, I don't worship here, or whatever the issues are. Um, I made a commitment to this community, bought a home, invested thousands of dollars to bring it up to snuff. It's upstairs is rented. I live downstairs. I don't spend every minute here. I don't think anybody does. It certainly is nice when I do, and, and I don't think it reflects on the kind of chief that I am. Uh, and I'm looking forward, and Ed said it several times, that come November 8th, I, I don't like being a politician. I think that successful chiefs have to be politically savvy. We don't run for office. It's supposed to be neutral. It's supposed to be on, that's what the position of chiefs are. That's why they got rid of the old sheriffs way back when, to get the politics out of policing. And so now, because of necessity, I guess I have to run. And so to answer your question, I can be involved from here on out. I will be involved if anybody wants me to. I'll be happy to answer any question in any interview. Explain whatever I need to from now to then. As Ed explained, um, we certainly wanted to remove any question of impropriety or intimidation because I am a police officer and we wouldn't want citizens um, accusing me or others of intimidating. It happened uh, with just uh, recently with a uh, primary candidate trying to get some signatures when he, and the mayor was accused of whatever because he stopped to say hello while they were collecting signatures. And certainly, as a police chief, um, I didn't want to sully or cause any angst for a group who worked so hard. Um, I will tell you, I attended some meetings to say thank you. I enjoyed the cookies they had at their, um, at their meetings, their, their hospitality. Uh, I just am, am flattered that a group and the thousands of people who signed it. So it wasn't just three or four or five or the North Enders who were accused, which is where I live, of the last confirmation hearing that they only came from one part of town. and. Really, I think the inference was that they weren't really that important. That's how I took that. I felt it was very great for those who lived in North End, as I do. And, just, and as Ed said, they weren't all from the North End. They were businesses, uh, business people, people from the North End, from Woodbury Circle, from all over Middletown. 
thought that I should be uh, Middletown's uh, next chief of police, and eight Democrats disagreed with that. And so now, 2,000 plus people have disagreed with eight Democrats. And so now on November 8th, we'll find out just who agrees with whom. I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you. All right, thank you all for coming today. I appreciate it. And thanks again to everybody who collected signatures. Um, it was a lot of hard work, and um, you guys did a great job. Thank you.